Seven more people were convicted because of false testimony by Chicago officers, and they're said to have their convictions vacated today. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli joins us live now from the criminal courts building. Hi, Mike. Hi, that's right. Six men and one woman are all expected to have their convictions tossed out beginning here at 9 o'clock this morning in the criminal courthouse that you see behind me. Now, that brings the total number of people exonerated to well over 40 in just the past two years. Now, most of the wrongful convictions stem from arrests made by former police sergeant Ronald Watts and his team of officers. Officials say Watts and those working under his command routinely planted evidence and fabricated charges in order to further their own drug and gun trade. Back in September, more than a dozen men were exonerated, some of whom served lengthy prison terms. Many of those men are expected to be at the courthouse today asking for certificates of innocence. It prevented me from doing a lot. Job, I'm 42. I haven't worked a day in my life. They were playing drugs on you. They would beat you. There was nothing but lies. Now, Watts went to jail back in 2013 after it was found that he accepted a bribe from an undercover informant. That informant turned out to be working for the FBI. Reporting live outside the criminal courts building at 26 in Cal, Mike Cuccinelli, CBS 2 News. Marissa?